Hey everybody, it's Tiffany and Arlen the Patio Gardeners and we're here at our community garden plot here in Chicago and uh, last week we had talked about how we tried to really kind of cage this tomato in it kind of overflowed a couple tomato plants here had really overflowed while we were away on vacation and uh, today we came back and it seems to be pretty sturdy it's holding up our kind of temporary solution yeah uh, what else do we have to report oh, look at this I just noticed we have some sort of infestation what are you looking at here oh these little white yeah bugs here yeah look at them are those aphids I don't know what they are there's it's... some green ones too oh. yeah if somebody's watching feel free to let us know what you think these are if you can see here Here's a little green one here. Let's see if I can get him to crawl on my finger here. Oh, don't touch. Okay, all right. Well, then there's also white ones here. So Yikes. we'll have to look these up. These are on a tomato plant here. What we might do is just clip off this part of the tomato oh, plant. I don't know how far. We'll have to look and see. We'll have to look we'll into have to it. We'll look and see how many plants have bugs. Yeah, we might we might try neem oil. It's a pesticide we've used in the past with some effect. It's it's organic. Uh, we'll include a link to that organic pesticide in the in the description for the video and we'll report back next time to kind of let you know how it worked or we might try some other things yeah, well it'll just depend on what what they are what those bugs are yeah we also have some of these nice beautiful green zebra tomatoes growing got plenty of these they uh, stay green when they're ripe so some of these are looking like they're ready to be harvested they're reaching a nice size yeah we should have a good amount to pick and then, of course, we have got a lot of these beans. These are red noodle beans here. Just want to show off how long they get. You can see this isn't even the longest one here, but um, they are delicious. We have been um, cutting them up and sauteing them in a little bit of uh, olive oil with some garlic powder. Super tasty. They turn kind of this bright purple color. Red noodle beans That's what those are called. Yeah, and they've really taken over. They really do take over. They're very prolific. And one thing that's great about them is nobody ever wants to steal them here at our totally public open community garden plot. There's some that are snaking out. They kind of look like feathers. Yeah, hunters. you can see. They do. They're quite something. Yeah. Now, one thing. You were very skeptical about um, eggplant. Yes, we We harvested one last week and ate it in a Persian stew that was really good. We have another one growing here, and then I just saw... Oh, is there a third somewhere? There's oh another gosh, one growing so here. Long. So yeah. this has been the best year for us for eggplants. Yeah, we've tried eggplants several years in the past and have never gotten anything from it. So this this is our eggplant year, even if it's a little pathetic <laughs> in terms of how big they are. No, they're small, but uh, we're excited about them. Yeah. So anyway, let us know how your gardens are doing in the comments. We'd love to hear an update. Uh, and feel free to like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoy this video. We do post videos just about every week in summertime while we're growing here in Chicago. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.